Hey guys, it's Misty Lovely coming at you. Um, today is Saturday, August the 18th or the 19th, I believe. I just want to come at you guys. I don't know when I'm going to post this. But I want to come at you guys because I wanted to tell you about a movie I just saw and how it made me feel. Um, I was in tears, so forgive me if I look a little bit of a hot mess. But I went to go see Sparkle today. I just decided to have a day out by myself and just enjoy myself. You know, I've done eight workouts this week and I just wanted some downtime for myself. And yes, I did have a cheat day. I had the kids popcorn, which I ate a little bit of. It just didn't sit right with my stomach and decided to put it down. And I had two cookies um, from Subway. Um, the way that I work out, yeah, I can afford that every now and then. But I wanted to come on and talk to you guys about something that was said that really triggered me. A lot of things triggered me in that movie. And I don't want to tell you guys too much about it because I don't want to ruin it for any of you guys who want to go see it. But for me, it was a tearjerker on certain parts because I could relate. And I, I will say that I'm going to say one part of the movie, uh, a quote. And Whitney Houston said, and then she said to Jordan Sparks that plays Sparkle, she said, no matter what I try to do, to put you down to, and I'm paraphrasing, to stop you from pursuing your dreams, you had what a lot of us don't have. And that's the faith. Faith in yourself to know that you can do what you want to do. And you never let anybody stop you from pursuing your dream. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about. Don't let anybody, not just with weight loss, don't let anybody tell you what you can't do. I grew up in a home with four other sisters that somehow turned out different. Somehow I chose a different life, a different path. And I had dreams and goals. I'm thankful for my upbringing in the sense that my, you know, I didn't understand it then, but I do now. My dad, I, I felt like Jordan did in the movie. Um, the girls, not just her, but and like I said, I'm trying not to run it for you guys, but I wasn't allowed to do anything. Not even wear lip gloss. You know, that was considered a sin. But I said that to say, I'm thankful for my upbringing in the sense that it made me who I am. In regards to my strength, in regards to my belief, not in regards to the hurt, for those of you guys who know my story. And I just want to tell you guys, no matter what, you be the exception in your life, in your family, you be the difference. I'm not starting this video over, I'm not going to worry about time, so y'all forgive me in advance. If you want to go at any time, it's your choice. You know, I have people tell me all the time. Don't do too much, you know, calm down. When you know yourself and you're sure of yourself and you're sure of what you want, there are going to be people, not just for weight loss, and you guys get me, understand this is about life. There are going to be people who want you to sit down, who want to stop you. And I'm speaking to somebody out here. Don't let anybody, don't let anybody, and I'm saying it with all that I can with passion in my heart for my desires for my life, for my weight loss, for my education, marriage, future. Don't let anybody make you second guess you. You know your capability. I can work out eight to 10 times a week. Maybe that's not you. That's okay. Maybe that is you. Maybe you can do more than me. Don't let anybody stop you. If you make a mistake, you're going to learn from it. So not just with weight loss, guys, is what I'm saying. Don't let anybody detour you from what is your reality and what is your desire. That's what goals are about. Pursuing a thing to complete it. Now, it may not pan out and go the way that you desire it or planned it. It is not about 
the time in which you complete a thing, it's about completing it. So I hope that you guys can read between my words and get everything I, I can't say. But my heart feels it. Don't let anybody stop you. Don't let nobody stop you. If you are different, if God has made you the one, he's made you special. And some of y'all guys are understanding what I'm saying. I come from a family of five women, five young ladies. And I'm the only one that's done what I've done. By choice. Because I didn't have to let what other people said be my reality. I didn't have to let what I endured define me. I define it. I define it. So, pick yourself up. Believe in you. And these are not tears of sadness, understand. They're tears of realization. That who I am is just fine. And where I'm going, the destination, the goals that I've set, are mine to complete. And nobody, nobody's going to stop me. I don't care if you hate on me. I don't care if you're jealous. I don't care if you understand. Nobody. I don't care if you think it's pride. I don't care if you think it's too much confidence. I don't care. That's the attitude you got to have. Nobody going to stop me. Don't let nobody stop you. I hope I get the gist of what I'm saying. I really do. I love y'all. Sorry I couldn't. I, I hope I said a lot without saying a lot. <sighs> Talk to y'all later. And tell y'all how much I love y'all. I, I came from the movies and came straight home because I had to make this video. Even though I don't know what it's going to be posted, I hope it's going to be right on time for somebody in need. If I can reach just one, then I've done my job. If everybody else doesn't understand, it's not my business to make them do it. Love y'all.